today we're going to practice finding standard deviation by hand. Now, whenever you get a data set and you're trying to calculate the standard deviation, the first thing you have to do is find the mean. When I added up all these numbers, I got 70. Since there's seven values, I divided by 70 by 7 and got a mean of 10. Remember that the standard deviation is the sum of the squares of the difference between the mean and the value divided by the number of values. When you're done with that, you take the square root. Now that is a lot of words. So I'm going to show you how to break this down numerically. The first thing that you do is you take each data value separately and you subtract it from the mean. It doesn't matter which one you write first because you're going to square it so your negatives are going to cancel out. So if my mean is 10, for my first value, 10 minus 6 is 4. 4 squared is 16. Okay, so that's my first one. For the second one, I'm going to do 10 minus 7 squared. 10 minus 7 is 3. 3 squared is 9. It is the same for the next 7. Nothing has changed. For the 8, 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 squared is 4. For the 10, I get a difference of 0. So 0 squared is just 0. You do have to include that in your data set, even though it is a 0. The next one is 15. I'm going to write 15 first simply because I don't like negatives, but it doesn't matter because you square it. 15 minus 10 is 5. 5 squared is 25. And the last data value is 17. 17 minus 10 is 7. 7 squared is 49. The next thing that you do is you go to your calculator and you add all of those data values up. So 16 plus 9 plus 9 plus 4, plus 0, which doesn't make a difference, plus 25, plus 49. I got a sum of 112. I am going to divide that by how many data values there are, and I got 16. Now, I got really lucky in this data set because my standard deviation is going to turn out to be a whole number. Once you get the sum of the squares, which we said was 112, and divided that by 7, we got 16. To get the standard deviation, you take the square root of that. So the standard deviation in this problem is 4. Now, that again is a complete accident and complete luck. Your standard deviation is normally not going to be so easy. If you want